What's up YouTube? It's RJ, welcome back to another video and another pair of Adidas. I was actually pleasantly surprised um, with this particular pair. It's a lower end boost shoe, but I'm obviously a boost fanatic. So, hey, let's just get into the shoe. Today we're taking a look at the Adidas Pulse Boost HD. I actually snagged this colorway because it was limited and I wasn't really sure why when I bought them. And I'm still not sure why. Maybe I just don't know enough about this, this particular uh, silhouette, but nonetheless, it's a limited colorway. And here they are. As you can see right here, let's take one. They're both, uh, they're both pretty similar, aside from the tongue tags. You can see right there, you got a QR code on one of them. And uh, typically these actually work. So if you're into that, I've never been, really been a, a QR code guy or really digging into them. But so essentially the QR codes on the outside of this one, and on the inside of this one. So we'll take a look at the left shoe. So right off the bat, if I had to compare this to anything, it would be the first version of the Pure Boost, which was a very, very nice shoe. That shoe wasn't a prime knit upper, and this one is, and I think that's where this gets good. So just again, overall, very, very comfortable shoe, very good shoe for the price. I'll break everything down. I just gotta keep reiterating that because I was pleasantly surprised when I put them on my feet and uh, and they have been worn just a bit. You have a full prime knit upper from the front all the way to the back, black prime knit, and you've got little hits of like off white and almost gold colors. And uh, I think that's probably why it was limited. Again, not 100% sure, but we'll just pretend like it's this gold hit right here. And uh, and I'll show you guys that up close in just a minute. There's not a, not a great way to describe the uh, the, the knit, so I'll just give you guys an up close right there. Let you guys take a look at that. And you can see what the toe box looks like. There's the reverse side. And you can see the hits of off-white right there in the in the knitting. Both uh, both lateral and medial sides feature that. And then you can see right below the, uh, right below the laces right there, there's that, that hit of gold stitching. And then uh, moving towards the middle portion of the lateral part of the shoe. You've got the three stripe hit right there. Obviously the Adidas branding. Beneath that you can see the gray knitting kind of peppered in there on both sides of the shoe. Back up to the laces, you've got a black cotton rope lace with little tiny speckles of gray. And then right beneath the lacing system is my only real quarrel with the shoe. It has like a giant tag for some reason. I don't know why they went with that. Um, I was almost curious if it was removable when I got it, but it's not. It obviously just has like, you know, different brand. This one says, designed to feel the pulse of the city and experience the unexpected energy of the streets. And then it has the Adidas performance branding up top, but it's just like a, like a felt tongue tag for whatever reason. When you put them on your feet, it does kind of get in the way. You just kind of pull it up and it sits really high and looks awkward. I'm not a fan of it. So that's my, that's like I said, my one, if I'm being nitpicky, that's the one thing I don't like. Now the lacing system, a little hard to describe because I don't know the exact fabric or piece that was used, but it almost feels like a, like a heat transferred material. And then it has the loops that create the lacing system. And that's on both sides of the shoe. So you can see how the laces just kind of are uh, I put through the holes. I would assume it's a heat transfer iron on type of deal, but it's also stitched in on both sides and reinforced top and bottom as well. So it's creative, I guess. Um, I've never seen anything really like it on any other shoe. I mean, everything's kind of similar as far as leasing systems go, but this doesn't run through the shoe, which is nice for a knit shoe. You don't gotta worry about, you know, going through the knit and, uh, and, and tugging on the knit if you do lace your shoes up really uh, really tight. So that was, a, that was something when I saw it, I was like, hey, that's kind of innovative, I guess, for, uh, for lack of better words. Now heading up to the collar of the shoe, it does have an ankle collar. And I, like I said, if it didn't have this tag right here, you've got kind of like this tongue-like thing up top. And uh, I think it'd look a lot better without it. But 
You got reinforced prime knit all the way around here, a little bit thicker than the rest of the shoe. And there is padding on the, uh, on the inside of the shoe right here as well. So a ton of cushion, a ton of padding. And then on the back part of the shoe, you do have a little pull tab right here. Uh, I guess the only other thing that I wasn't really a fan of, if I was into like customizing shoes and tearing my shoes apart, I would definitely rip this off and I would detach this and, uh, and cut it out. But nonetheless, headed to the back panel, just all black prime knits on the back of the shoe. And that's pretty much the upper for you guys. Um, if you have any questions regarding that, leave them down below. I'll answer that. Insole is removable. You've got the Boost HD and bubble letters right there. A little flimsier than your uh, than your Ultra Boost insole. For those of you who are familiar with the Ultra Boost, a little bit flimsier than that. Little uh, little slimmer. Now headed down to the midsole is where that Boost HD comes into play. Give you guys a close up right there of where it does say Boost right there. Boost HD actually embedded right into the uh, into the Boost material. You can also see if you look up close. It's like kind of like a two-tone. We've seen this on other Boost shoes, like the uh, like the Sub Two, um, and a few other models that are really like um, like for heavy runners, marathon runners, and whatnot. So this is a this is definitely a runner's shoe, but just casually around, like I've worn it, it uh, it gets the job done. It's a very comfortable shoe. So I get I don't know if it's a different compound but it definitely is a different mold of boost, but there's a ton. Um, not necessarily as much on an, as an ultra boost, but very similar to like a pure boost, if you guys are familiar with that at all. And you can see the boost does definitely protrude right around the uh, right around the heel part right there. Just a very, very thick boost midsole. There might actually be a bit more on here. I'd be curious to find out if there is more, more boost um, than an ultra boost, but I doubt it. Anyway, the other cool thing that I was, uh, that I was pretty hyped on when I got it is the outsole kind of looks like a uh, like a digital camo if you if you're into like graphic design and uh, it actually is continental branded much like the Ultra Boost and I apologize for comparing everything to the Ultra Boost but I just feel like when it comes to Adidas everybody always wants to know what it feels like and what it uh, how it compares to that there is no torsion system it is just a just a free runner it does it does torque and bend and uh, it still has a ton of support because it is a bit wider than an Ultra Boost. It kind of has like a that Yeezy teardrop shape to it right around the uh, forefoot. And then the outsole obviously is going to be a bit thicker than the uh, than the outsole that we're typically used to on an Ultra Boost. Um, so it is a little bit thicker. I'd say almost twice as thick. But again, Continental rubber on the outsole. And as far as uh, as far as the breakdown goes, that's pretty much it. I'll hop into into comfort and give you guys my thoughts on that. Extremely comfortable. From the moment I put my foot into this, I was blown away um, in a very very good way. The prime knit is super soft. The boost is extremely cushy, and there is so much traction with this outsole. It kind of has. If you can see, I'm wondering if the camera will pick it up. It kind of has like the same type of. Uh, like little rubber spikes that like a brand new tire would and that's pretty cool because continental is a tire company so these like these will get hung up on carpet and stuff like that which is kind of annoying but it does have a ton of traction and it, uh, it's a very sticky outsole so it's nice it's a very good running shoe and uh i really have no complaints as far as comfort goes definitely a nine 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 point two plus as far as the comfort goes pricing it is 140 um, USD which is also very nice so it comes in like 40 bucks cheaper than an ultra boost um, still a little cheaper than some comparable Nikes and uh, just overall if you're looking for a running shoe this is it this is one of the better shoes that I've that I've taken a look at recently as far as new silhouettes go so I wouldn't hesitate if you want it snag it 140 bucks especially with Black Friday coming up I guarantee you there are gonna be um, colorways for sale, colorways that you can get, um, you know, 30, 40% off, depending on what Adidas does this year. Last year was really good, so hold out for a little bit if you are gonna pick a pair up and, uh, and wait for that. But guys, that's gonna do it for me. I will obviously throw these on foot, give you guys a good look at them. It's been like amateur hour for me, like on this video and the previous two. For whatever reason, I forget to talk about sizing. I know you guys need to know, and you wanna know, and that's why you come here. The Pulse Boost HD is true to size, 
There is a lot of room in the toe box. It feels great. Again, I've, I've, I've spoke on it already. So as far as sizing goes, go true to size. Don't even hesitate on that. You don't wanna go any smaller and you don't wanna go any bigger. Any bigger would be crazy. You'd be sliding all over the place and any smaller, you'd be, you'd be jamming your toes into the front of the shoe. So again, sizing, my bad for forgetting. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns regarding this or any other shoe that I've taken a look at, leave them down below. I do my best to answer everybody. If you haven't already liked the video, it helps it so, so much, I promise you. And uh, other than that, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, get a notification every time I do something on this channel. I really appreciate it. But that's gonna do it for me, guys. I am RJ. Until next time, peace out.